Hey, you know what? So my friend Lois took me flying in her plane yesterday and uh, flew to Benson, Arizona from Tucson. I sat underneath the wing of her plane in the shade and I did a painting on the tarmac of another plane. So it occurred to her she should film it. And so she took her iPhone out and she filmed, but we got it back to the studio and we cleaned it up the best we could. I think it's worth sharing. It's worth taking a look at. And there's a lot of good information in it. So I hope it could be of use to any of you. How big do we want this plane? That's what I'm thinking here. Let's see. Tail edge of the wing. That's this negative space here. If I drop the straight line here. Brush and hand. So I'm I'm saying what's going on? What's going on with this reality I'm looking at? And then the emotional, the psychological is we flew in here. We are emotional creatures. And we're not just performers. So right now what I'm doing is blocking in the shadows. I'm using a flat brush because it's uh, I see a lot of blocky, edgier rectangles uh, in the shadows, like the, underneath the wing. So how wide from left to right is this thing? And how tall from top to bottom? Since the plane is orange and the sky is blue, this shape can actually be that the diplomat between the two, the transition. Always kind of searching for uh, where I'm at with this thing. I'm trying to not just paint another painting. Be a good painter. It's more about the psychological. What can I do? My ideas I know are more important. Let's put a little bit on here. Wow, that looks pretty good. And I'm also trying to paint with thought, thoughtful brush strokes, you know. So look, we're gonna just go in and put that in. That looks about the value and about the coolness of that yellow that I see. It's got a hard edge here. There's a soft edge back here. I like, I can, I can make out some of the ridges in that rudder, just the way it's manufactured. Also sculpt the airplane and just this is the part of it where I'm just laying on paint I don't even care at this point uh, let's get this in boom and I'm just gonna put the brush there I'm using my body to move that edge brush pressure that's a Mound, that's a mound, now it's going down this way. Let's fix this transition. Color here, drag it this way. Oh, so we know the sun is over to the left more. Right. So maybe we'll start lightening up from over here. And by golly, I think we got the color. That's mixing on the canvas. It's a really, nice. it's a different effect that you can't get any other way in a sense. Right. And these can just uh, suggest in a way that those might be some of the clouds without having to paint every single cloud. Yeah. All right, so I, I think I'm, as a sketch, this is good enough. It's lighthearted. It felt good. Um, I got somewhere with it. I could always bring it back to the studio and play around with it for hours, make it as realistic as I want to, or I can keep it the same. I can live with it for a little while and really decide what it really needs. And so you learn as a painter, that's all you're really ever after is learning what you like and learning what you don't like. Mm -hmm. And you just do that.